Okay, Erica. Time to slow it down for a second. Whose place is this? It's a very big TV. The reason I love glass tables? You can always rely on them to have at least one usable fingerprint. Spotless. This place doesn't even look lived in. It looks more like it's been prepped for an open house. Someone's coming. This was so stupid. A murderer led me here. Hello again, Ms. Reed. Please, stand up. Agent Reed? Where's Cordelia? I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. Wait, who are you? You're not just a property manager. How are you involved with Cordelia? I am the Smith family lawyer. My name is Scorobius. And Cordelia? Do you know where she is? No, but she made mention of a John, I believe, before she left. Yes, definitely John. She said that you'd likely be wanting this. And also that, as I've stated, you have free access to her home, nothing withheld. So this place is Cordelia's? All 33 floors. Wait, damn it. What did he drop off? He said it was from Cordelia. Why would Cordelia have him leave this? It seems Cordelia couldn't do anything on uh, that Erica Three Brother investigation. I think sorry. What is she doing to me? What am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. And watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. Double your bet. <sighs> this feels the same as that vision on the balcony. But... Okay. I've got a little more control now. I can leave the vision if I want to. It's the Boston office. This memory feels years old, before I was an agent. But it's still amazingly clear. A lady at the front desk pointed me back here to Agent John McCoy. Oh, I'm getting that feeling again. Like someone's watching me out of the corner of their eye. John? Cordelia came to you? You've met her? Ugh, no. Okay, so I'm now in a vision. I can ask John. Uh, I'm looking for John McCoy. Is that you? The one and only. What's this about? I was led to believe maybe you could help me. Damn it. I don't know what she was trying to get help for. It must have been something pretty serious, though. I won't get a clear vision of what they talked about until I know why she was approaching John. But there is one fragment here I think I can feel out. It's about... Rose? All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. This whole week has been lousy, and watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. But what am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. She runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down in the end you can sit at to call.
I would have some kind of note. Whoa! Doing that almost brought on the vision again. I shouldn't do that in here without a very specific reason. I don't want to cause a scene. So, I guess Agent McCoy gets advice from his psychic when he's stuck on a case then? So let's call the Rose. Yes, hi. My name is Cordelia. John McCoy referred me to you. He said that you could help me. I've had this... well, this vision of my brother. He gets killed in it. And... and it's awful! I see. And what triggers your visions? Well, sometimes they just happen. But usually it's any time I... any time I think certain thoughts that relate to a vision. Yes, association is one of the main causes. But how do I unassociate? Sometimes I feel like I can't come out of it. I can't stop having a vision. Right now, the only thing that works is repeating I am awake to myself over and over in my head. After I start doing that, my mouth starts to say it. And then I remember I'm me again. Well, we will see if Mama Rose can help you. We will try something now. Close your eyes. Now, just relax. Let your forehead rest. Relax your eyes and your jaw. And I want you to search around for a feeling inside yourself. It's a little light. You might see troubling things, but you can also see helpful things. For now, search for the little light and I want you to try to make that light bigger and brighter. Bigger and brighter. The light is moving, but it's hard to focus. I... Oh! Hello, 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 are you there, my dear? You screamed. Yes, I'm, I'm here. I, I need to go. I'll, I'll see you soon. My dear, before you hang up, remember, some things you see are fixed and must happen, yes. But some premonitions are malleable. Their events can be shaped and changed. Take heart. There is always hope. Goodbye, my dear. Okay, there are two points left, which I need to make. I need to know why she'd show up to the Bureau asking for help. What happened? Whoa! Stack of There's a big stack of folders here, each named with different... Hey, wait! Max's name is on this one! Because I've got uh, an ID of that case, I can check it on, on the phone of the Erika Reed. And I would see another point left. I need to It has Max's name. That was a case number. I just saw it. It has Max's name and some kind of number. That was a
Weird. The Cordelia I just saw doesn't seem like the same sociopath who's been toying with me lately. Let's see what we got here. A new file. 